Good day everybody and welcome. Today we're doing an Italian food taste test in Notto, Italy. This is the last of the Sicilian series so it's coming to the end. We'll think of something new to do but uh, some of you may have seen this video when it went up but very few did so I hope you enjoy it. Italian taste snacks, taste test snacks <laughs> in Sicily. See you the other side. Welcome to Steve's Kitchen. Today I'm doing Italian snacks and I'm doing it in this beautiful setting here in Sicily uh, in a town called Noto. We've got the beautiful cathedral behind us and I've got all sorts of snacks here. A lot of chocolate. I don't know how that happened, but let's start off by having a look at this. This is a Sicilian, traditional Sicilian cannolo or cannoli as a lot of us know it. Just going to open this up. They pack them up so beautifully here. I just bought this from a, a little store just around the corner. Oh, more packing. A little tray as well. And there she is. That is a canolo with ricotta. That's a sweet ricotta filling. I'll interrupt the video quickly. If you want to learn how to make canolo or cannoli, uh, depending on whether you want one or two, I actually learned how to make them in Sicily and I've made the video. So check it out. Link in the description. Now, actually, I'm going to save that to the end of the taste test. I'm not going to have it just now. Let's get and open some of these other packets up. Ringos. I saw these in the store, thought they looked kind of cool. I haven't had them before. What is a Ringo? <laughs> Looks a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. Okay. It's a Ringo. It's some sort of shortbread biscuit, chocolate on top. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah. It's obviously very good. You've got milk chocolate on top. You've got a sort of milky, creamy center. I know kids would love this. I wonder if you can actually pull that chocolate off. You can. Now, if you do that, you've got this chocolate, a little bit of what feels like a bit of a butter icing, and a pretty plain biscuit. I'd score that about seven thumbs up out of 10. Not the most, a little bit too sweet, a little bit sickly for me. But um, these kind of interested me by a company called Leicha, Leicha or Leica. And this is um, uh, chocolate Italiano. And I just thought they looked really good. They've got um, like a cherry. It looks like a glacé cherry inside chocolate. And these ones, I think they have uh, coffee. I'm going to go for the, the cherry one. So it looks, I don't know whether it'll, oh no, I think it'll be like this one at the back, like a covered in. I bet there's no cherry like that, but they look good, don't they, in the photo? Very beautifully wrapped up. Give that a little twist off. Okay, it's a darker chocolate than I thought. Oh. It's like a liqueur. Yeah, it is like a, cass a cassis liqueur. Quite an alcohol sort of... I didn't expect it to have a... You know those uh, sweets that sometimes have... Um, little bits of alcohol inside. Mm. Oh, that is soaked in a sherry. Well, almost like a, a Black Forest Gatto or a Christmas cake. That is quite nice. I like that a lot. I give that around about eight thumbs up out of 10. Whilst I've got it, I'll try the coffee one as well. Because if that one was sort of alcoholic, what is this one gonna taste like? Ah, now this one's like more like a bonbon. They've, We've done both ends. A Whopper or a giant Malteser. I reckon this one is going to taste really good. How wrong can you be? That is really disappointing. It's just like a praline. I can't even, maybe it's because of the cherry, but I can't get the coffee flavor out of that at all. Quite plain. Nothing unpleasant about it. It just tastes like a big lump of chocolate. So Leicha coffee, I could only give that six out of 10. Uh, a little disappointing and both of them quite surprising not at all what I expected next up we got crostini this is by a company called San Carlo big here in Italy and later on I'm going to be trying something from San Carlo which I think is absolutely fantastic probably one of the best things I've had since I've been here in Italy talking about processed snacks not food by the way now these little San Carlo crostini uh, they've got a little chili on there so I'm expecting them to be a little bit hot open them up all oh, the smell coming out there is definitely chilly for those of you that don't know what a crostini is it's like a little sort of crouton or a piece of dried toast 
quite looking forward to something savoury to be honest. Can you hear the crack? San Carlo, you make some good snacks. These are nice. Not as spicy, more like a, probably a sweet paprika flavour. A little bit oily, a lot oilier than I thought. You know, the, the actual um, crostini itself, it looks a little bit oily, but in a way that adds to the flavour. I like that a lot. These would make a great bar snack. I'm going to give this 8 out of 10, and probably I'm going to revise the cherry one down to 7 out of 10 because that's a little bit unfair, but I can't give these 10 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 even, but really very good. Well done, San Carlo. Next up is these pocket coffees. I call them pocket rockets. Uh, I first came across these when we arrived here, came over the border into Italy, and wow, uh, I'm going to explain them to you. There are 18 in this pack. There are tiny, what looks like a little cube of chocolate. It says espresso. Now, if you've never had one of these before, be prepared. This is like a supercharged coffee or espresso shot, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I had two of these uh, the other day when I opened the packet up just to give them a little try. I fancied a coffee, and I was like on a, a coffee high. So unwrapped, you've got this very uh, nondescript little cube. If you bite this, you're going to get covered in coffee. It'll just run down your jeans, down your front. So what I would suggest, you pop it in your mouth and let it melt eventually. Uh, and I was talking about these earlier on. You know the chocolates that used to be hollowed out with some liqueur inside them? Um, this is the same. It's got a crystalline sugar inside. I'll bite it open so you can see. Mm. That is a coffee hit. Can you see the little reservoir inside? It's full up of the strongest coffee flavored liqueur that I've had in a long time. In fact, you can almost drink this. Wow. If you really love your coffee, you're gonna love these, but I don't think you could eat more than one or two of them at a time. I don't know what the ca caffeine content of them, but they're just too strong. After that coffee, I need a drink break. This here is a beer. And I know it probably isn't really a Sicilian snack, but I just fancy giving it a try. It's Siciliana. It's about Birra Moretti. And they do a whole range of different beers. I haven't tried it before. I'm guessing it's a blonde or a light beer. 5.8 alcohol, so this is not a snack for your kids. And why not? It is afternoon and we are on our holidays technically. So I'm just going to open this up. And you're, you're going to want to see what it looks like color-wise. So I'm going to pour it out into a glass. Very light. Let's just put a little bit in there. Chin chin, everybody. Well, it's like a wheat beer, very quite malty actually, uh, like a sort of raw malt flavor. Quite nice. Uh, I'll just sip on this. I'll give it, uh, I probably, uh, as far as a beer was concerned, probably give this about a six out of 10. It's not fantastic, but it's very drinkable. Let's get on, eat some more snacks. I need to change the flavor profile a little bit, get away from chocolate. These are Balcioni mini rolls, apricot mini rolls. I thought these looked kind of good. They look like a, a sort of Swiss roll. And like everything here, it's double wrapped. A lot smaller than I thought it would be. And it certainly is mini. It's tiny, tiny compared to, uh, you know, what you're looking at in the packet. Let's not judge it too early. Give this a try. Wow, dry. Much drier than I thought. Massively processed. Not good. Almost no real apricot flavors in there at all. It's okay, but I couldn't give this more than maybe three thumbs up out of 10, which is disappointing because the photo looked really nice. Now, can I do Kinder? A Kinder to me has always been a German product, but apparently Kinder is owned by an Italian company now. So technically I can. Uh, comment down below if you think uh, Kinder should be uh, have a place in Italian snacks. So maybe this product's only available in Italy. Comment down below if you know. Well, these are a bit bigger. I'm going to prejudge it. It looks a little bit like a, a dry bit of sponge cake uh, compared to the picture which seems to be oozing out chocolate. Here goes. Can you see anything in there? Actually, that's not a bad taste. It's got a sort of caramel flavor. At least it's got some flavor, unlike the apricot one. It does just feel in the mouth of like a, a piece of sponge cake. Actually, a little bit like stale bread. Now, they show it in the packaging being dipped into milk. So maybe you're meant to dip this into milk because as it is, uh, it's not so good. 
I'm being generous, I'm gonna give that a four out of 10. So let's move over to something that definitely is Italian, Nutella. Um, these are not regular, this is a, a Nutella Be Ready or Bready. There's the packet. Okay, quite a bit different than I expected. It's a sort of um, lozenge shape. Now Michelle's just said to me, it looks a little bit like a baguette, which actually it kind of does. Doesn't Nutella have this strange thing of making things taste that little bit better? That is really nice, it's a, it's a wafer. I could probably eat one or two of these, but not too many. So I'm gonna give this seven out of 10. Now that brings me back round to San Carlo, and I think probably one of the best potato chips or crisps as we call them that I've ever had. When I saw that you had put turmeric and coconut and is it chives i'm not sure but into a potato chip i thought that's going to be interesting let's give these a try oh even the smell of these can i tell you what they smell like they smell like a tom yum soup uh, so it's already a winner in my book now if you like those sort of oriental flavors if you like tom yum soup um, it's just something about these let me give them a try here goes if there were a snack for me that was worth the trip to Italy, this would be it. Um, there are other flavors, some cool flavors, a ginger flavor one, which is quite nice. But if you ever get a chance to try coconut and uh, turmeric, these are the business. Now that's just my opinion. Michelle really likes the lime and black pepper, but I'm gonna give this 10 out of 10, the perfect potato chip. We're getting near the end and I thought I'd go for something gluten-free. Uh, pastelacini or pastelacini. These are another chocolate covered cookie. Uh, and I thought I'd give them a try because they're gluten-free. Okay, another hugely disappointing box photograph to the real thing. These are tiny, tiny little cookies. On the back, you've got what looks like a, a bit of a Ritz cracker. Nice coating of milk chocolate over the top. That's a very nice uh, cookie, although a bit smaller and a little bit more expensive as often is the case, but gluten-free all the way. So I'll give Real Formo free from gluten, uh, pastacini. I give them seven out of 10. They are very, very nice, not superb. Now this, back to another drink. This is a, another, almost like a coffee slurpy or a, a coffee smoothie. Uh, it's called Sorbetto al Cafe. Uh, here in Sicily, quite often when you go to the uh, coffee shops, when the weather's warm, they do like a coffee slushy. This is a, a store-bought version of that, and they are super, super thick. Now again, I won't drink it out of the bottle. So you can see it's, it's fairly thick. Cheers. If you're a coffee fan, you're gonna love this. Smooth, um, not as intense as those little coffee shots that I had. A little bit like uh, an instant coffee rather than a, uh, than a fresh coffee though. Okay, we're gonna end where we started with the fresh cannoli, which is getting a bit warm in this uh, winter sun here in Sicily. Uh, it's like a very crisp pastry. They have to make them there and then for you in the stores, otherwise they go soggy. So we've got this very crisp uh, tubular pastry. It's filled with a ricotta cheese, which is sweetened with a powdered sugar. Mm. What can I say? Sweet, creamy ricotta, lovely, deep fried, slightly toasted canolo shell. Yum, yum. So I hope you've enjoyed a little snack tasting here in beautiful Sicily, Italy. It's very, very different from the Thai snacks that we had in Thailand last year. Um, this is a lot more sweets and chocolates and things, but I still hope it's given you a little insight into the sweet flavors of Italy. Be good, share the love, give this video the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Uh, I'm gonna give them eight thumbs out of 10 because Okay, how was that? It's always 
called visiting new countries, tasting new ta taste tests. We should make a, a taste test series because there was so, a, a yes. nice one in China as well. So I'll, I'll get Michelle onto that. She'll <laughs> put a list down of taste tests series that we've done on the channel. I think there's quite a few of them. Yeah, in Japan at the Sakura time. We oh yeah, so we'll leave, we'll leave a link down there. In the meantime, love to you all. Christmas is coming up. Have a wonderful Christmas season. We'll be doing some live streams and videos, I'm sure, uh, in between now and then. We will see you on the other side. Hang on, just put my water bottle down there. <laughs> Take care. Bye.